Welcome back. I'm Brian Calfano along with Nick Reed, 1041 KSGF Morning Show host. He's here now, but he's at the radio station in the mornings. And Amy Blancid, who is Drew Lewis Foundation and Missouri State University, our Ozarks First contributors. Good to have you both here. Hi. And I uh, just wanted to put this out on the table because I think we all agree the Democratic Party does not know how to run an election. <laughs> uh, and I'm speaking specifically about based on experience. Iowa recently, and yes. the caucus, New Hampshire, not so bad, but man, that was a disaster in Iowa, and it's still unfolding in terms of what's happening in the fallout. The other thing, though, is that now people are concerned because Saturday night, Nevada mm -hmm. gets to have its caucus. So round two of the meltdown, and the media is already all over this. There are Democrats in Nevada with a lot of anxiety, worried about the tech issues, worried about the 2,000 or so precincts in that state being able to accurately report what's going on with these counts because in a caucus you have people meet together and they form groups and if you don't on that first alignment get to 15 percent as a candidate you can cajole and try to convince other folks to get with you and try to get over that threshold that whole counting and keeping track of that in addition to tech issues may end up making Nevada Iowa part D. so <laughs> I'm wondering what do you think if we sort of grown out of this caucus nonsense and let's do everything like a straight election or what? Show up, pull mm -hmm. the lever, right. and leave it leave it that way. Why a caucus, guys? Well, okay, I'm a fan of the caucus system. Yeah. <laughs> Just want to say yeah. that. Uh, and what people need to fundamentally understand is that the whole, whether it's the primary pro pro process or the caucus, this isn't some right to vote that people have. These are the parties. This is the mm -hmm. way the party has, because the party Excellent is an entity. Excellent point, yet. Nick Reed. That's and right. So when yeah. somebody wants to run, if you want, if I want to run and I want to be under the Republican label, I can't just do that. Uh, I have to get permission in order to do that. And so the way that the parties decide who their candidate is going to be is to have these different contests. So that that's what needs to first be understood. But there's no, but, you have to have a caucus to so do he, it. But here, I like the caucus because generally the people who involve themselves in those, because it does take more time and effort, are more informed individuals and they care more. So you weed out some of the people that are... Uh, Only oh, informed by social media on what a candidate yeah, may or know. may not be doing. <laughs> I, the caucus isn't the problem here. The problem is a combination of the caucus and this need to utilize technology. And so this is just, this is pretty straightforward truth on some of this stuff. Now, if you go here in Missouri, we have the primary, or when you go to vote, the people that are working those voting tables are generally retired individuals. That's because they're the ones who have the time to do it, and it's probably a work day. and and it's it's a work day, and so retired people are able to do mm -hmm. it. Plus, I think that there is a civic mindedness that mm -hmm. is a little more prevalent with people that are retired than younger people. Now, what you have are these individuals that in Iowa and in Nevada are generally the folks who are sort of in charge, if you will, of things. Now, a caucus is already chaotic. I mean, you've got, I think, 2,000 some different districts broken up or precincts in Nevada. And you have a lot of people participating in those that don't really even know what's going on. So there's a lot of chaos, even if you are a, a precinct captain running things, right? Now, you add into that an iPad with an app or a Google Doc to somebody who is of a j age demographic that may have never even utilized mm -hmm that sort of electronic device before. And you have a recipe for chaos. If I'm talking to somebody that's in my age group or younger, and I say, oh, it's on the iPad, just download the app, there's a certain security that I have in knowing that they're familiar with that. But you're t they are giving these instructions on the upcoming caucus in Nevada as if they're talking to people who are very well versed and comfortable with this technology, and they're just not. I mean, it's no fault of their own. That's just the. Well, so it, is, it is their fault. Let's be honest. Well, you can, the you you can, can learn them. people. They should have the them. grand pads, right. but they're giving out. I, there was a meeting this past weekend where they were prepping everyone on all of this, and some of the people didn't even know that early voting was going on. These are people in charge. Right. But there was a Politico piece that interviewed some of the folks that were there, and, and one of the gals said she was sitting next to someone who was in charge of one of the precincts who was older and it was halfway through before someone asked a question about how do we access the Google Docs that we're going to insert the information they said well that'll be on the iPads we pass out and this precinct captain lady's like we're using iPads, iPads. Yeah, right. I, I mean mm -hmm. they, they haven't even begun downloading some of this stuff it is 
It is an absolute mess. And in addition to that, caucus can be confusing, especially if you've never done it before. So why do we have them? <laughs> it, the party yeah, does it to... To do what? You got, what, the, two out of the other, what, 49? Because D.C. has its own. So the other 49 entities end up having straight elections. Well, we actually even, we do have a caucus. That's after why the, our primary, the primary is a preference primary. Right. And that's what our... But it's a much smaller group at the mm -hmm. Missouri state right. level, right? right? Mm -hmm. and, and they're party activists as opposed to just having the general public come in. So uh, I just don't understand why we just... Well, okay, to your point, but we could do right. better if we went back to paper. Well, right. Le legal pads, not iPads. Well, not yeah. iPad. right? One of them would be the paper voting. Um, the other concern that we have is rural communities, uh, schools, and the Wi-Fi, you know, even just accessing it. So you might have the great training on the iPad, but then now you have to make sure Bluetooth and the web, you know, everything else is working. So they've put in a lot of potential for failure is what we saw in Iowa. Um, but then, you know, again, the biggest thing comes back to trust, right? Do I trust that if the process, even if it may not be the process that we, you know, hope to have, it's the process that's in place. And if I don't trust the process in place in order for the person that I've elected um, to become the candidate, then now we go to a lot of media, a lot of fear, and once it we're fear-based, It delegitimizes the correct. process. And, and now you're saying, why do we have a caucus? Well, you know, we're, a lot of people might be educated the first time on what that even means um, and what does my vote mean and, and now why does that matter so you know there's a lot into this so when we talk about the anxiety in voting and are we even going to end up with the right candidate based on caucus and voting uh, there's, there's a lack of trust and that anxiety is extremely high right now well and just to add to the cornucopia of chaos here <laughs> she mentions Wi-Fi <laughs> like and, and when the media outlets, because of what happened in Iowa, they're talking to the state party in Nevada and they're asking, how, you know, how's this going to work? How's that going to work? And so the question was, well, these iPads, are they, what are they going to run off of? And, and there were mixed answers, but a lot of said, well, we're going to do Wi-Fi. Well, people in the security world are saying, you are begging for hacking. Correct. And they're like, is this going to be Wi-Fi? Because you mentioned they do it at schools or churches. Mm -hmm. Are they just going to be using public, wi public Wi-Fi? Public right. Are they going to, and, well, and the answer is, well, we don't really know. Well, the Politico I, article went through and said, we're using a Google Doc. We're putting it on an iPad. We're doing this, this, and this. And, and all the password was, is. Right. That's what I thought. I was like, wait, they're telling One, them two, exactly three, how they're doing it. All they're missing is to tell me exactly what the password is to what a nightmare. get in and mess it all up. If they pull it off without any anyone seen what sort of chaos comes then it'll be a miracle for them. Well, it'll be a Saturday night so it'll be buried. Right. Normally so the chaos. They, watching they it. figure <laughs> it all they figure it all out by Monday morning's news cycle. Nick yeah. Reed and Amy Blancett, we appreciate it. And folks, we'll be back after this.